Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanna walk you through how I clean my house, the products that I use. I wanna go room by room. I'm gonna show you my cleaning must-haves and I've got some tips and tricks to share. I also am gonna show you that the, the products that I avoid using, these are just products that I don't think are worth it. But honestly, if I say something and I avoid it, and you love it, just keep using it because it's so personal. And at the end of the day, what's really important is that you love the cleaning products and the tools that you're using because that's gonna make your cleaning so much better. And once you find the cleaning supplies and tools that work for you, it's amazing how much easier and more efficient keeping your house clean and tidy will get. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with the floors. Okay, so floors. I'm gonna start with the vacuum cleaner and I've got three of them. I'll just show you them. This video isn't sponsored. These are just things that I love using and I think work really well on my floors. So the first one is a robot vacuum cleaner. I highly recommend a robot cleaner. I just run this every day. It gets all of the vacuuming done for me. These have come down a lot in price. I'll link the one that I have or one that's similar, but definitely these are great. The other thing is I recommend a stick vacuum. I've got this Dyson. This works really well. It actually works, I think it has like a 60 minute run time on a battery. This is cordless. That is the key here is you want a cordless one and I simply use this for like daily quick touch-ups. I really do use it every day, at least once a day. It has come in handy for so many things. It's also really good for like vacuuming corners and baseboards. Okay, let me talk to you about my big upright vacuum. This is the Shark and I love it. It is very affordable, it is very powerful, and it lasts for a long time. This is the second one. My first one lasted a little bit over a decade. Keeping in mind, this was with like daily use. I don't use this as much now because I've got the, the cordless Dyson. However, this is great for a deep clean. It cleans so well. I don't love that you have to plug it in and that it's a little bit heavy, but honestly, the Shark is a lot lighter than most other vacuum cleaners. So I will link this one as well, but this keeps my floor really clean. It is just so powerful, that's why I love it. Now for mopping, I love the Ocello Spin Mop. I have used this for many years. The thing that's great about this, you can use it wet or dry. You can even just use it dry and just spray something and use it as a spot cleaner but the head is removable, it's microfiber, you can toss it in the washing machine and get it clean. And the thing about this mop is you don't have to just use it for floors. I also use it on my walls because those get really dusty, especially in bedrooms and bathrooms, and I use it on my baseboards. Okay, this Bissell 3-in-1 Heavy Duty Mop, I have done a whole video on this because I love this so much. This is a steam cleaner, but then it is also useful and you can use it as a floor mop. Now, make sure with your floors that you can use a steam mop. Check with your manufacturers because I know they say steam mops are safe for most floors, but you just wanna be sure. I use it on mine, I think it's safe. I have bamboo, so technically it's not safe, but I only use it monthly and it gets my floors so clean. I am gonna be replacing my floors sometime soon, so I'm not super, super concerned about them, but make sure you check and make sure you can use them. Either way, the steam cleaner is great because it cleans and disinfects and it works really well on the floors I have found. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Years ago, I bought into the marketing hype that I needed all kinds of products and things for specific cleaning tasks, and my house was overrun with cleaning products. I found it ironic, I saw on Cass with Clutterbug, she's got that YouTube channel, she says that of the houses that she goes in, most of the time the houses that are the least clean and tidy are the ones with the most cleaning products, and I can totally relate to that because back in the day when I was struggling to keep my home clean, I had so many cleaning products. Now I have just a few things. Most of them are DIY and I make them myself and I can show you how I do that, but honestly, it is liberating to only need a few cleaning products for your whole house and it is so much easier. So let me show you what I use in the kitchen. Okay, so for most of my kitchen surfaces, I make a DIY spray. I usually use water and a little bit of dish soap in it. I can link the recipe below, put it in the comment box. Sometimes I also put vinegar in. This mixture works on everything. I use it on the counters, on the surfaces. It works super well on stainless steel. Honestly, the vinegar cuts right through the grime and the fingerprints. And then it also works really well on my cabinets and as a spot cleaner. One thing I don't love, I'm sorry, I don't love this on my stainless steel. I just find that these don't work that well. They're also probably not the healthiest products you can use. So I just use that DIY spray and then if I want it to be polished, I just use some olive oil and it looks perfectly clean and polished. 
I also really like this Mr. Clean Freak spray if you have surfaces that need disinfecting. I use this in the kitchen, sometimes I use it in the bathroom, and then of course the Dawn Power Wash. Now this can be used on multiple surfaces. I like to use this not only on my dishes, sometimes I use it to clean my sink, I use it to clean my stove top, and then I will also use it underneath my cabinets near my oven. That's where a lot of grease can get and this cuts right through it. Okay, let's talk microfiber towels. I personally love microfiber cloths. I just have a handful for my whole house and I find that they just, just with water, but I also use them with cleaning materials, they just, cut right through all of the dirt. They also have these loops, as you can see, and this just picks up the dust really well. These are also, of course, reusable. You can wash them in the washing machine. You can hand wash them however you want to do it. Now, I recently found out that these have microplastics in them, so I'm really disappointed about that. However, I've already bought them, so I'm going to keep using them. I plan to use these forever. Like, these will be full of holes and ripped before I end up getting rid of them. What I would say is if you've got microfiber cloths and you love them, use them. If you if you wanna buy some, just get a couple. You only need a couple for your entire house and just hang on to them. It's just kind of a trade off because at this point I don't use paper towels to clean my house at all. There's one place I use paper towels. I will show you that in a second, but otherwise I do not use paper towels. So I'm definitely using these and cutting down on all that paper waste. Okay, now some people hate the feeling of microfiber cloths. I can totally understand that, so let me show you what I have. Tons of old dish towels and rags. You can use these. You don't need to use microfiber cloths. These work really well for dusting, cleaning surfaces. These are also washable. Even if you have an old t-shirt, cut it up. You can use the t-shirt pieces to clean. Perfect. Okay, I think the kitchen sink is like a whole different animal when it comes to the kitchen, but let me just tell you what I clean mine with. I simply use baking soda in the sink, and I also use baking soda and vinegar to clean out my garbage disposal. It works really well. I just make kind of like a vinegar volcano with the baking soda, and then I rinse it out with some ice cubes, and my garbage disposal no longer smells. There are a couple products you can buy. Let me show you them. Lemmy Shine makes this really great disposal cleaner, and a fresh also makes something similar. I think these work perfectly well. I also like to make my own. I can link that recipe if you're interested. I think I, I did a short on it that I can link as well, but essentially it's just with like some liquid soap and some baking soda. They came out really well. These are them. I just store them in the freezer. You don't have to store them in the freezer, but I just stuck them in there. They have essential oil in them. They're great. I did buy these. These work okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna rebuy them. I think they're a little bit too small to actually do anything. I could be wrong, but they're not my favorite. Okay, and then one more thing for the kitchen, Magic Eraser. If you watch my channel, you know I love these. I think these are perfect for your kitchen sink. You know how your kitchen sink gets that like layer of grime? This will take it right off. The baking soda will do the same, but sometimes that leaves a little bit of a powdery substance left over. This just takes care of it, so I like to use this. You can also use it on stainless steel. I was a little nervous at first. I've tried it and it worked great. I like to use Method products. This is their liquid dish soap. I use this all the time. And then of course Dawn Power Wash. I don't use this for everything. If I've got a really dirty casserole dish or something to clean, what I love about this is you can just like spray it on and evenly coat it in soap and water and then wash it when you're ready. Scrub Daddy. This is hands down the best sponge I've ever used. It gets soft in warm water and then it's kind of harder in cool water. So it's like soft when you're doing the dishes, but then harder if you want to clean with it. It's dishwasher safe, so you can sanitize it in the dishwasher. It does not scratch anything and it lasts forever. I have been using mine for several months, probably longer than I should be, but I find it to be so much better than the old scotch Bright sponges that I was using. If you love those scotch Bright sponges, I mean, I've used them for decades, go ahead and keep using them, but now I avoid those sponges for dishes and I'm only gonna be using Scrub Daddy. I went down a rabbit hole of microplastics and nanoplastics, but let me tell you about this. This is my favorite dishwasher detergent. The Cascade Platinum works really well. It's a little bit pricey. It gets my dishes sparkling and super clean. These pods are meant to dissolve in the dishwasher and I thought for years that they were dissolving and everything was fine. I found out that these also have microplastics in it that cannot fully dissolve and then they go into the water system. So I will no longer be using these pods. Same with washing machine pods. I don't use the pods in my washing machine, but if you do, something to think about. I'm just gonna get the Cascade powder and, and use that. I, I used to use the powder. I thought these were like less messy and more convenient, but now that I know that they've got the plastics in them, 
I won't be buying them anymore. Okay, bathrooms. So I am super old school and I really like using powder cleansers. When I was a kid, we used to use Ajax and for some reason I just now gravitate to powder cleaners. I think the Barkeeper's Friend is great. I love this stuff in my toilet and on my in my sink and my vanity. I find that when I use a cleanser like this one, it keeps the surface cleaner for longer. Bonami also makes a really good natural cleanser like this one. You can also get this in liquid form if you're not comfortable with the powder version. I know some of you have mentioned that you that when you sprinkle the powder, it kind of gets into the air, which I totally get. So they do have a liquid version. I've also recently been really liking this Scrub Daddy Power Paste. I think this is great on vanities and sinks. You can use it in your shower. This does amazingly in your oven, by the way, just a little tip. The only thing I don't like about this is you have to use it with, with a, a sponge and it doesn't, you can't really get it into your toilet bowl. So, but otherwise this is great and this is all natural. With the Barkeeper's Friend though, I do wanna caution that you cannot use it on your toilet seat. In fact, don't use any abrasive or harsh cleaners on your toilet seat. Those toilet seats are really delicate and they will get scratched and damaged really easy. I've learned that the hard way. I scratched my toilet seat. I had to replace the whole toilet seat. So just be careful when you're cleaning your toilet seat and use something a little less harsh. For my entire toilet, I again like to use that DIY cleaner I mentioned, the vinegar water soap mixture, that works really well. I mentioned the one place that I do clean with paper towels and it's the toilet. For glass and mirrors, I again use my DIY mixture. One thing I try to avoid is Windex. Now I got a couple bottles of Windex that I'm using up and when they're gone, I will no longer be buying Windex. Nothing against Windex, I just think it's too harsh and strong for the job that needs to get done. Cause you can honestly clean your windows and mirrors with water. The Windex isn't doing anything super special. So I just am no longer going to be using it. And then for my showers, again, the same DIY spray. This spray that I make though has a little bit more, bit more soap in it because the liquid soap will cut right through that soap scum and it works really well. You can also use a magic eraser that works on your showers, on your tiles. A tip from me is to use it in your tub. I have had over the years, some dirty tubs, and I use this magic eraser and it gets so clean, especially if you're giving kids a bath and you get that ring around the bathtub, the magic eraser will get rid of it in no time. Even if you've got a tub that you've cleaned other ways and it doesn't work, try the magic eraser. It especially works on the bottom of your tub. You know where the bottom of your tub could get like that dirty, dark color and you think, well, my tub is stained. It is not stained, the magic eraser will take it right off. Okay, and then if I wanna disinfect any surfaces in my bathroom, what I like to use is good old fashioned hydrogen peroxide. I simply put this in a spray bottle and then I spray it on the surface that I wanna disinfect and it takes about 10 minutes. That's the key though, you have to let it sit for 10 minutes. A lot of people will spray their cleaners and then just wipe them away immediately and you're not giving the cleaner time, time to work. So never spray your cleaner and wipe it away right away. I mean, you can do that on things like glass because they're not like super dirty, but if you're cleaning like a toilet or a sink, you definitely want to give it some time to work. Okay, let's move on to laundry. So a couple of things. This may sound surprising, but I use vinegar as like a fabric softener. This works really well if you want to really soften up sheets and towels. And then the other thing that this is good for is if you buy new clothing or new bedding, this will actually help break down some of the chemicals in the manufacturing process because you don't want those on your skin. It's always good to wash your new clothing before you wear it. So just put some vinegar in there, you will love it. I also like to use name brand detergent. I, I, I switch up my brands, I use different ones each month. Right now I'm using Tide. However, I mentioned the nanoplastics and I have found out that most detergents contain nanoplastics in this in it itself. So again, I am not gonna be using this anymore. I am going to try something new. If you've got any recommendations for like natural laundry detergents, please let me know. I'm gonna look into those sheets. My mom loves the Earth Breeze laundry sheets, so I think I'm gonna look into those. Okay, and then dryer balls. I use these, you can also use tennis balls or they sell wool dryer balls. What these do is they kind of like aerate your laundry. It will dry faster and then it also is meant to get rid of some static. So just a suggestion, I think the laundry balls are great. Okay, let's talk about dusting. I simply use microfiber cloths and water. I just wanna talk about one thing I avoid and I, and I do have this. This is like the Swiffer, it's a Swiffer duster. 
this is a little bit dirty. Okay, I don't like this very much because you have to buy the refills. So like they sell you this and then you have to keep buying these refills. They're like expensive, they don't last that long. Some people say that you can vacuum over this, like just run your vacuum cleaner over it or you could take it outside and dust it off and shake it out, which, which I do do to make them last a little bit longer, but I just find these not as convenient. I don't find myself reaching for these very often. If you use these, again, if you love them, keep doing it, but I personally just like a good old microfiber towel and some water. You could also use the cut up t-shirts like I mentioned, whatever cloth you have. It's not paper towel, that works really well. Okay, let's talk about spot cleaning couches, upholstery, carpets, that kind of a thing. Honestly, what I like to use is good old fashioned water and soap. So I will wet the area, get some liquid hand soap and use that to clean it and then kind of dab it clean. If you have a stain and if it's something that you just cannot get out, I use this sparingly, but I really like this tough stuff. I have not ever found a stain that this can't get out. It works on my car upholstery, my couch, the carpet, any fabric really. You could probably use it on clothing. I haven't tried that, but it gets everything out. And stains that you just have no idea what they're from and they've been there for a long time, this will get it out. This stuff is great. Again, I use it sparingly. It's it's not, you know, this is aerosol. It's not the best for the environment. It's you also, you know, it gets in the air and things like that. So again, you don't want to use this all the time. I mostly default to soap and water, but if you have a stain you cannot get out, recommend this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. I'm going to go ahead and link another video if you want to keep the cleaning going and click on it and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.